हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट माई सेल्फ मोहम्मद सज्जाद हुसैन आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एम एस एक्सेस फॉर द स्टूडेंट ऑफ क्लास एट दिस इज द फर्स्ट चैप्टर फॉर द स्टूडेंट ऑफ क्लास एट सो लेट स्टार्ट एम एस एक्सेस सो बिफोर स्टार्ट द एम एस एक्सेस वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू स्टार्ट एम एस एक्सेस ओके नाउ आई एम ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड एम एस एक्सेस वन शॉर्टकट इन डेस्कटॉप ओके सो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन हाउ टू क्रिएट ए शॉर्टकट ऑफ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेस स्क्रीन इन द डेस्कटॉप so there are two way to start the microsoft access the first is uh, from the right click okay when you right click of your mouse button now see here is a many options are there so from the options just you click to new option when you select the new option in the right side you see there the some screens are there some options are there so from there just you click to microsoft office access 2007 database here is the 2007 or in the other other machines it is 2010 is also available but no issue 2007 and 10 most probably this two versions is the same so this is the one way to start the microsoft access okay again i am repeating myself right click of your mouse button in the desktop then click to new and from the new click to microsoft office access 2007 database okay this is the one way see i am already created okay when you click here now to see that this such kind of icons is appear on your desktop and see this is the symbols of microsoft access this is the key symbols okay this is the microsoft access okay and the second way this is the start menu see in the dark square you just click over here and from there you will type ms access see i am writing ms access see ms access it is visible so from there you also click to microsoft office okay ms access so there are two way to start the microsoft access so i am using the first way student you choose any one way from the taskbar otherwise from the desktop as for your choice so without wasting our times let's start the today's lecture so see it is the visible microsoft access in the desktop this is the main screen so you double click right now see the microsoft access window is appear on the computer screen so see this is the menu bar you all of you know okay this is the title bar there is the display visible microsoft microsoft office access 2007 details so when you start the microsoft ms access okay microsoft access so first time this is all are see the options all options are inactivate okay so you go to the corner is office button click office button click to new okay first you click on this corner button okay then click to new option click to new option okay so when you click to new option after this this type of window appear on the computer screen so you see student you all of you see there are the many options are here so see the first option is the blank database okay you all of you click to blank database 
and the, see the right side here is the file name see the blank database is visible why because we have selected the blank database so see here is the blank database is there right and file name is the database one you know why the file name is database one because ms access is a database software so by default the name of microsoft access file database one next time again when you create the new file means you new database then it is the name is database 2 then database 3 database 4 in in this way it is by default create the database file in microsoft access platform okay but if you think you you want to remove the database one name and you want to change the name of database one so you remove it select and click to black backspace suppose i am creating student student database right i am written here student then my name is the database is the student okay then after this you see here the two options are there create and cancel right create and cancel so click to create because we want to create a blank database click to blank database now see student all of you notice in the title bar you see the first time it is visible when you start the ms access the first time it is visible there microsoft access database access 2007 like this time but now see the name of this database is the what student why because you created this database file the name is student okay so the name of this database file is student okay now you see here is a table one is there and here is a table one it is also by default table one if you want to change the table one but by default is the table one okay now we are going to start the creating table so how to create the table very simple first you all of you click to data sheet okay data sheet then click to view first you click to data sheet then you click to view right here is the two options are there number one is the data sheet view and second one is the design view. okay so we are going to create a design of the table so you click on design view right so click on design view see student here is a table one i already told by default in ms axis it is created the table the name of table one but i want to change see the st so the name of my table is a student then click to ok and you all of you notice here here is a table one and you so see i am written here the student when you click to ok options now it is automatically change okay now it is it is automatically change so see click to It is uh, the other applications are there this is the visible so sorry table one now click to ok see all of you see it is the name is automatically change understood okay and okay now you all of you learn in your book the related of the primary key you know what is the primary key Primary key is a unique identifier key with the help of this 
uh, key we identify the data from the table okay this it is the identify key primary key and the symbols you see this is the key symbols okay and when you start the ms axis the first is the id it is by default is uh, available okay now we are going to start the creating table so see here is a field name and is the data types so first i am writing here the student name student name written next is the data types so what types of data it is a text right after this suppose it is a class okay class is text or number if you want to write the numbers then the numbers okay but if you want to write the text then you type the text okay next is the suppose city suppose city is the also text okay and next is the roll number the roll number so number roll number is the number okay so this is the field and this all are the data types in this area means this is the design of the table in this sections we created the field and data types these all are the field you all of you learn in your book the table figure 1.1 the page number 7 it is there okay field name and data types okay so here is the student name what types of data it is the text class what types of text it is the text city it is text roll number is a number you know here is the two types of data these all are the data types you go you, you select your data types according to your your field name right here is a number but if you want to select the auto number the the functions is the auto number is a the number is comes automatically right so i am first time so it is a first class factory class so first time i am going to select the number okay this is my fill name and data types is already created but suppose you think so it is you not require the id you not require the roll number and you delete right like this suppose you select then right click and click to delete okay here is the insert row option is also there copy is also there okay if you want to if you fill you not require then click to delete like this you want to now the options is visible on your screen if you want to delete then click to yes now you go through the options see the options are deleting field id requires the microsoft office access to delete the primary key then you click to yes okay next is a my field and data types is created then i am going to enter the data right after this you paste control s button from the keyboard otherwise you click to save okay then see here is the view option is there okay you click to view option from the design tab click to view and click to data set view this is the design view but we are going to enter the data so you click to data set view see we all of you see here is the option is visible see the student name class city and roll now one by one we are entering the number student name suppose here is the ram next is the class is suppose class 8 and here is the city suppose associate number 1 see i am here is a 1 i am enter but if you select the auto number then it is automatically come okay next is the sum class 8 
and here is the suppose the code I am entering and roll number suppose two. in this way you enter the name of the student class and uh, else it is means whatever your uh, data types in all okay and you fill these all are the filled and these all are the data types then in this way you enter one by one okay then we click to save button so student in this way you all of you entered the your data you created the you create the table in ms access right so if you fill you entered the you want to suppose you entered the one more uh, fill between the city and roll number it is also possible so from you click here your student table right click okay and here is the design view just you click to design view now you hear the enter okay so this is a very simple way okay i explain one by one these all things okay so we are going to again the data set view see this is my data set view and if you want to check your design view then again i am showing you click to view click to design view okay if you fill you enter one more thing now you see like this right select right click and insert okay here suppose i am writing uh, okay suppose i am writing here the subject suppose yeah yes here yeah, on the writing math math mass okay so the math is the here is the this you select the number okay then click to save means in this way you enter the something so you see you all of you notice between the class and cities is automatically coming why because it is the database management software okay it is the database management software when you change in the design view when you change anything in the design view it is automatically update on the data set view right because the data set view and design view these are interconnected to each other right design view and data set view this both is the interconnected to each other when you change any field or data types in the design view okay when you change anything design design view it is automatically update on the data set view. now we are enter the marks out of 20 suppose 15 okay 10 and 19 okay completed then get to control c so this is a simple way how to enter the data in a data set view this is the use of microsoft access to create a table okay so many this is a very useful thing microsoft access nowadays microsoft access is used in the school banks railway stations okay every corporate corporate sector and government sector it is used and it is very useful things okay so you all of you go through it you know practice all of you okay student okay it is very simple and you all of you notice one thing when you start the microsoft access so before uh, done our work you first you create your database file so what is the name of the database file is the student okay but the other applications you after complete our work you save your file but in this section in, the, in this platform before you create before your any activity first you create a one database okay you are all or you all have select the database blank database file and the name of the file is the student and see here is the many options are there okay on the next class you explain one more more or you know, more things okay how to uh, search any data from the data set okay how to delete how to rename ascending descending order these all are the sending descending order okay merge spelling 
many many applications many options are there okay okay so you all of you practice it okay and i hope you all of you understood today's class and student you all of you go through it okay thank you all of you take care god bless you thank you very much